Now, it's one thing to make general observations, general statements, just general proclamations about things. Heck, I do it all the time. It's a whole different thing to be able to back it up with proof. And today, I have proof. Let's talk about just the attitude of failure. Why do so many people fail? And it's really just as simple as, hey, let's just get started. Let's just get to the good stuff. And it's taken a while to gather this data, uh, but I have, I think, a quite abundant amount that kind of just symbolizes this whole, hey, yeah, I, I know some stuff's important, but let's just get started now. Like, I wanna start making some money. I wanna get involved in everything, like, right now. So to do this, I wanna look at some of the past videos that I've made um, over the course of the past few years that I've had the YouTube channel. And like I said, it's taken some time for the you know views, the data to add up. But at this point, I think it becomes very um, symptomatic of kind of where people's attitudes are. And you know, this is not like some sort of rocket science discovery, but at least it's some data over me just making a general proclamation about, hey, people fail because they just want to get started too soon. They don't want to talk about, they don't want to learn about all the important things. So like I said, let's take a look at a couple different videos that I've done. And then I think this symbolizes just why things seem to be the, the way they are in a general uh, sense. So the first video I wanna look at is called The Stock Trader Career Zapper. Very, very important video. I'm not gonna call it the most important, we'll get to that in a second. But what I talk about in that video from a general concept perspective is why a lot of people fail. What makes the stock market, the markets as a whole, so tricky? And it's a kind of a very cruel joke, but point here being that it's a very, very important logistical, you know, logical concept to be aware of because if you're not aware of it, it's gonna get up and bite you just like it bit me and, and bit a lot of other people. So, but if you're prepared for it, you can help avoid it a lot better. So taking a look at the numbers here, you can see that it was posted on February 26, 2015, so a little bit over a year ago, and it's gotten 2,400 views. So 2,400 views, uh, a little over a year and a half ago, keep that number in mind. Second, all wins are not created equal. This is, without question, the most important video I've ever made on the channel, bar none, and really, it's not even close. All wins are not created equal. What I talk about here is just bottom line, what's gonna determine if you're successful as a trader or if you're not. And it just, I, I, you know, I could go over and over. I wanna actually start talking about what that, what's in that video, but that's not the point of this video. But like I said, there's no question in my mind, Clay, what is the most important video you've ever created? And there's hundreds of videos now. All wins are not created equal, that video right there. So let's take a look at the numbers on this one. As you can see, it was posted on May 21st, 2015. So again, a little over a year ago, and it has 1,500 views. Video's been around over a year, 1,500 views for the most important video I've ever created. So yeah, you know, kind of a wah, wah, you know, two of the big videos, the most important video, 1,500 views. All right, now let's take a look at another video. And the title of this video is, how much money do I need to trade? So I th maybe you're thinking, oh yeah, that's that. How much money? How much money do I need to trade? In other words, how much money do I need to get started? How much money to, so I, I let's go. You know, Hopefully I don't need to explain that anymore. The title there is pretty self-explanatory. Now to be fair, I do realize that it's a very you know, introductory type concept in terms of, hey, you know, is it even worth my time? Uh, you know, more of kind of a curiosity question. So I'll, I'll fully admit to that. However, when you see these numbers, you'll see that you know, even if you kind of factor that in a little bit, it's still, I mean, not even, let's just look at the numbers. So how much money do I need to trade stocks? You can see here it was posted on December 12th, 2014. So it has been out a little while longer, but when you look at the views, you can see even if you factor that in, it's just not even close as this one, as it stands right now, 155,000 views. And there you have it. There is just real statistical proof of where people's minds are at. Rather than learn about something as critical as, hey, all wins are not created equal, nah. how much money do I need to get started? Let's go. And again, I realize there's probably some SEO type things in there, maybe some uh, you know, keywords, maybe, 
not as many people are going to be searching for that because they don't even know to search for it. But again, the disparity is so big that even when you factor in all those different things, it's still not even close. I mean, let's say that it's half. So half of all that other stuff takes out. That's still like 75,000 views compared to 1,500 views. Any way you slice it, not even close. So the whole point here is, look, I realize that there's a lot of videos out there that, you know, just are focused on those sorts of topics. And don't get me wrong, how much money do you need to trade? Yes, it's an important topic, but that's further on down the line. There's many other concepts and topics that you should be understanding before you even ever get to that point in the journey. So if you find yourself as, you know, I, that, how much money? That video sounds like the best one. Odds are, according to the numbers, you probably feel like that would be the one I would choose out of the three of those. But therein lies the problem with the markets. That's why the numbers are so low in terms of people failing or people not uh, succeeding is because people want to go to kind of those, you know, sexy sounding videos. So again, be honest with yourself. If I just listed out those titles, which one would you choose? According to the numbers, I would guess you would choose, hey, how much money do I need to get started? And that's just, you know, a psychological, you know, factor of, yeah, let's go. That implies that you're going to be getting started. So be aware of that. Uh, and you know, watch those videos. I guess if anything, this is a video to try to drive you to those two videos that don't have any views because they really are so much more important than the amount of money that you use to trade. So all the, you know, those videos will be linked in the description box below and you can go check those out. So that's kind of really, I guess the point of this is, hey, don't be one of these people that's in the mindset of, let's get started right now. You know, I, yeah, forget these other concepts. Maybe to be fair, you don't even know about those concepts. Well, hey, now you know about them, check those videos out, very important. As always, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and you know, let me know if you have any questions or anything of that nature. Thank you for watching, get out there, and happy trading.